our final COFS experience is inland, in the rainforests. Showing me the way is Indigenous guide Mark Flanders. Well, this rainforest is a remnant rainforest of a giant Gondwana rainforest that we used to have through Australia originally. It's only a remnant of it left in this particular little area, the Wugulga Creek Floral Reserve. Animal life, there are many sorts of animals you get through here. There'd be little wallabies and all your different bird life, lizards and snakes. Beautiful little goannas, they're good tucker. The goannas are very, very fatty kind of um, oily animal. The oil is very good for you, but you've got to be very careful in handling them because they've got very sharp claws and very sharp back face and teeth and that tail is also very dangerous. Obviously this is a bird watcher's paradise. It sure is, there are many species of birds in this area. That bird you've been hearing calling up, that's a wampu fruit pigeon. He's a fruit distributor around the bush. He'll pick up fruit and carry it from one point to another and help. That's, that's where you get the biodiversity of all the plants and animals through here. Then it's on to this headland, intriguingly named Look At Me Now. On Look At Me Now headland, that headland is associated with uh, many Aboriginal sites around it. And as we see this morning, we see the eastern grey kangaroos all over it everywhere. They're often down by the beach there, because there's fresh water around the rocks there they can, they can get. And they'll just travel all over the country, hop up along the beach and back up on the headlands, into the littoral rainforest be, behind the beaches. They've got a wide range of distribution there. Yeah, this time of year, um, a lot of the kangaroos have little joeys in their pouches. So you've got to be a bit careful when approaching them. They, they do look beautiful, but they can be very dangerous. 